Stylus pens that work on e-readers seem to be all the rage in 2020 and 2021 so far. We've seen all manufacturers like Remarkable, Onyx, Boyu, King Jim, Supernote, iReader, they all make their own respective stylus in the world of Wacom enabled devices. There's even companies that don't make devices like Lamy, Mitsubishi, and Stadler, who just primarily makes wood pencils. These guys all make styluses as well. Of course, the one and only Wacom or Wacom makes their own stylus too. They make a bunch of different styluses like the bamboo, etc. But this one is the Wacom One Pen. This is the one that is supposed to be said that works on everything across the board. This is the latest generation and the latest year, 2020, 2021 model. If you were to buy one online, this is the one that you will be receiving. Now, of course, in this box is probably just a pen and a little piece of paper with some documentation. So for the sake of this video, it will be an unboxing and a review all in one. There's the pen and there's the piece of paper. So here is the limited warranty. You do have a manufacturer warranty on this. So hold on to this if anything happens to the pen. And here's the pen itself in a nice little bag. It looks like a little status pro static proof bag, but it doesn't seem to be too... Uh, necessary because I don't believe this is the model that needs to be charged. Now there is some bag, there is a baggie full of nibs there, but I can't seem to get it out. I'll have to probably open the box in order to get that out. There we go. So you open the box on the side here, and you do get some replacement nibs in a little Ziploc baggie. Wow, that is really hard to get out. There we go. So you do get three nibs. Now, unlike a lot of devices on the market where they use kind of conical nibs, these guys are using rounded nibs. It almost looks like the tip of a mushroom kind of thing. So we don't know how this is going to react when it actually touches the paper itself or the uh, stylus surface, I should say, not the actual paper because we won't be using this on paper. This is a very silly bag. I'm not sure why they wrapped it like this because they could have just used a plastic bag and this doesn't seem to slip out because it is taped to the device itself. Now you do have a two-tone color here. You have a stone gray on the back end and the front is a matte black. There's that rounded nib right there and you do have a single button on the side there. There doesn't seem to be any eraser although some back ends of the pens do transmit when held away from the screen. Screen. So we don't know how it's actually going to react when it comes time to touching it to the device itself. And it does bow out here a little bit, but it looks really nice because when you hold it in your hand, it fits perfectly right where you want to hold. It's not too close or too far away from the nib. It's almost as if that is exactly where your finger should be. Now we know people draw and write in different ways, but for the most part, a standard way to hold your pen is like this. So it does feel like that is where your fingers should be. Now, because Wacom is the commander in chief of all the technology that goes into all these makes and models across the world of e-readers and e-ink note-taking devices, you will be happy to know that it is completely platform agnostic, whether you're on the Remarkable, the Onyx, the Boyu or the Supernote, it is all going to work across everything. Now, it doesn't have an eraser on it and it doesn't do any sort of hover technology that uh, some devices do, like the Guido pen, they, they erase when you hold it above the screen. Unfortunately, it doesn't have any of that, but this does work across all platforms and it is a very nice feeling to have in your hand. Something important to take note is that the eraser does not work on all devices. For example, the Remarkable will not work if you press and hold it the super note will you will go into eraser mode and it will erase things boy you will not do anything and the onyx will do stroke eraser so the eraser is going to function completely differently when it based on what device you are going to be using of course if you are using the wacom one slate that is used for digital artists it will work 100 but when it does come to the technology with the devices it comes down to how they were programmed and it just simply doesn't work on everything but the note taking does when it comes to aftermarket note taking pens nobody's perfect but this one comes pretty close this is a very good build quality it's structurally sound it's shaped really well and it works across all platforms if you want to get this you can order it from our website at goodyreader.com slash blog slash shop and stay tuned Tune for more amazing e-reader and e-ink related things on youtube.com slash goodereader for goodereader.com and a review of the Wacom One 
This is Peter.